Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and today we have a really cool surprise drop and that is the GM6 Lynx Anti-Materiel Rifle by Ad Shield. This is going to add a huge beefy bullpup sniper rifle into the game, chambered in 50 caliber for all of your matter destruction needs. Now, in case you're not familiar with the GM6 Lynx, this thing is a really crazy heavy sniper rifle. Again, it is bullpup and chambered in 50 caliber. This is a Hungarian designed anti-materiel rifle, which actually features the long recoil design, which is pretty interesting. That means that whenever it fires, it actually reciprocates not only the bolt, but the barrel as well, the full length of the cartridge to help with some of that recoil impact and also ease the chambering of the next round. I believe that the first time I had ever seen the GM6 Lynx was way back in the older Call of Duty days, right around the time COD Ghosts had come out. And I had instantly fallen in love with this rifle, it was super cool and such a unique design and actually made a few more appearances in the franchise, and now we get to have our hands on it in Fallout 4. I don't believe there are any mods that bring this rifle into Fallout 4 yet, so this is a big first and a beautiful weapon to have in your arsenal, especially if you're running something a little bit more modern, a little bit more tactical. Speaking of tactical, this does have tactical reload support, so along with the custom animations available in the base version of this mod, if you're a user of tactical reload, you do get an additional version that will make use of the different reloads depending on if you have empty or partially empty magazines, which is a nice touch for immersion and realism. Now, when it comes to obtaining this weapon, it is not added to the leveled list. This is a pretty rare and very large rifle. So rather than finding this out in the world and on enemies, you'll be able to craft it at the chemistry station, or you can find the single variant of the weapon, which is actually located at the wreck of the Northern Star ship. So that will make for a fun little treasure hunt that you can hunt down in the late game area of the map. And overall, this is just a beautiful little package with a ton of customization options. Let's go ahead and check it out in game so that we can check out some of the stats, the reload animations and everything else available in this package. For starters, let's go ahead and talk about the stats of this weapon. These are going to be the base stats when you first pick this thing up with no modifications and no perks. So this thing has a base damage of a whopping 120 because it is shooting 50 caliber rounds. It has a fire rate of 33 in a semi-automatic, a range of 23, an accuracy of 81, a weight of 7.8 pounds, and a value of 7,500 caps, which is quite a lot, though there is only supposed to be one of these in the world, besides the fact that you can craft it at the chemistry station. Now, it says that the range is 23. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that is a bit of a a bug <laughs> it's definitely not 23 you can shoot this thing much much further or at least you should be able to 23 is a bit short for a sniper rifle but uh i'm sure that'll be fixed with an upcoming patch very soon and now let's go ahead and look at those custom animations and there are a good bit of them starting with the equipping animation as you can see you pop out the barrel there and that just looks super cool let's go ahead and fire this thing and check out the reload as well Now, I don't know how easy it is to tell in first person, but the barrel does actually reciprocate just like the Lynx is supposed to in real life. And this thing even comes with third person animations. Let's check those out as well. As you can see, fully custom first and third person reloads, which is always nice for those of you third person players. We also get a custom melee animation and grenade throwing animation, as well as sprinting. Now let's talk attachments. We do have a good bit of attachments available for this Lynx here. So let's start with the receiver, which has a handful of receiver parts, which are not named to the normal Fallout 4 nomenclature. So let's just go ahead and go through them. We have the standard receiver, the upgrade parts kit level one, upgrade parts kit level two, level three, level four, and level five all the way up to level 7 with your maximum damage of 360 compared to the base 120. So you get triple the base damage. Now these receivers are only going to increase damage, no other stats. Just important to keep that in mind when you're upgrading this thing. For the barrels, we have the standard barrel and the light barrel. The light barrel is just going to make the weapon a little bit lighter. For the handguard, we have the standard handguard and the prototype handguard, which as you can see removes a lot of the front end here. For magazines, we have the standard magazine and the extended magazine. For optics, we have a whole lot of optic options. 
starting with the Barska Reflex. It's taking just a second to load, so we'll go ahead and give that a bit. There we go. The Barska Reflex, standard red dot that most of you are used to. We have the Bravo 4 Optical Sight, the Elkan Spectre Optical Sight, the Cobra Reflex Sight, the Leopold Mark V Optical Sight in 10 times, the MBUS Iron Sights, the Micro T1 Reflex Sight, the PN23 Night Vision Scope, which is a 6x zoom, the SRS-02 Reflex Sight, the Schmittenbender PM2, which is a 12x optic, the Smith and Fender PM2, which I would guess is a knockoff or a misspell. Not sure on that one. The Smith and Fender PM2 with Raptar. The Trigicon AccuPower 6x, the Vortex Mini Reflex Sight, and the XPS3 Holographic Sight, which is the hollow sight that everyone's used to seeing. When it comes to muzzles, we have a handful of different muzzle break options with the Colossal Muzzle Break, the Cookie Muzzle Break, the Heavy Muzzle Break, the Knife Attachment, which will duct tape a combat knife to the front end. Looks like that's a bit of a barrel obstruction there maybe, but you know, that's fine, we're in Fallout. We have the M82 Muzzle Break, the Standard Muzzle Break, the Suppressor, and the Covert Suppressor, which is wrapped nice and tight there. We do have some paint options, starting with AAF, which is going to be a nice digital camo. We have AAF Worn, so you have it nice and dinged up instead of brand new. We have the standard base camo. We have CSAT Medium, CSAT Medium Worn, CSAT Pack, and CSAT Pack Worn, in a reverse order that time. We have Candy Cane, Death by Kitty, Gray, Gray Worn, Olive Drab, Olive Drab Worn, Red, Spray A, Spray B, Spray C, Spray D, and Tan, Tan Worn, White, and Yellow. We do have some rail options for the top rail, which is going to add a nice carry handle here, which looks pretty insane wrapping around the big scope like that. We then have some tape wrap color options, though we can't actually look at those until we equip some tape, so we'll hold off on that. We do have the bottom rail, which is going to have a number of grips. We have the standard bottom rail with nothing, the angled grip, the foregrip, the foregrip 2, the nutsack grip, because, you know, why not? And the stubby grip. And then for the pistol grip, we have the standard pistol grip, the paracord pistol grip, and the tape pistol grip. And that's where you'll actually get the option to change the color of the tape. So standard is going to be blue tape, but you have the option to change it to black, olive drab, pink, or red. All right, and now it is time for the damage test. Today we are only going to run two damage tests, one with the standard version of the weapon with no attachments, just to see how the weapon performs on its own, and then another one fully upgraded with the best receiver to see how it does with maximum damage. Both times though will be without perks, that way we can just see how the weapon performs on its own. Tests will be run on our death claws as a standard baseline. Let's see how we do with the standard version of the GM6 Lynx. And as you can see, we put down that Deathclaw in four shots. Now, we got it pretty close to three, and since the upgraded version does three times the amount of damage, it's probably going to get really close to one-shotting this thing, and we may need a second follow-up shot to put it down. Let's see how we do. Nope, we actually got it in one, so <laughs> the fully upgraded GM6 is very, very powerful. Again, with 360 damage. Throw in a maxed out Rifleman perk, and that's going to be somewhere around 800, which is going to make this thing very, very, very powerful. But it is intended to be used in the late game, so use at your own risk. So yeah, guys, that is the GM6 Lynx by Ad Shield, and this is a very, very cool weapon mod. Again, I'm a big fan of the GM6 Lynx. I think it's such a cool sniper rifle or anti-material rifle, whichever you prefer, but it's very cool. Definitely worth grabbing this thing. If you're into big, heavy sniper rifles and you're using a tactical modern load order, I think this will fit right in. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you!